All right, hello. My name is Mori, and this is Folklore Hunter. I am specifically going to be playing through a mode called Bloodfang Forest, uh, primi primarily for this to be sort of a walkthrough. Um, there's not a lot of information regarding the recent updates that have come out for this game that kind of help give people information to know what to look for when playing this mode. Um, most of the stuff that was found is outdated. A lot of the tools that were in the original version of Bloodfang Forest aren't even there anymore. Um, I don't know if anybody has made it all the way through yet. I'm sure there has been, I just have not found it. Or found any. So, welcome to Bloodfang Forest. And we're going to go ahead and get into it. As you can see, it recommends two to three players. This is a long, long mode. It takes a while to get through. Um, not that it isn't possible to do by yourself. It's just really difficult. So I'll be giving little tips and tricks that I have found that have worked really well. Um, hopefully I don't die. It higher chance of death when playing by yourself. Higher chance, but uh, we'll see how this goes. By the way, this is a lot better to have when you have headphones on. Deep in the mountains of Europe lies a still. Many people used to call it home, but soon it fell sick. Bum, bum, bum. Your next contract is to discover what happened to the villagers and to find a way to stop this happening again. So, as you can see, we are starting here. You are going to want every bit of arrows and ammo you can get and find. Full warning, if you can save your bullets, do it. You're going to need them. Okay. I know there's more. There we go. It's been a little bit since I've last played this. Kind of wanted to see if there was any new updates. I haven't seen anything. The game itself hasn't mentioned anything. Okay. Okay. It is right now 9 a.m. Almost 10, so I have enough time to run down to the village. Oh wait, I forgot to check up here. So these watchtowers are a lifesaver. Full straight up, they are. Um, one of the things that I have found out is they really, um, the uh, creatures here, they're called the Strigoi, which are vampires. Um, they don't seem to climb these things, which I found interesting. Like, you, you find these watchtowers, like, all over the place, but you don't, don't really get to see, okay, so this is one, two, Oh, 
laundry. Or Okay. So, as I mentioned earlier, there are some tools missing. There are not a lot of tools in this game like there had been. Um, I joined this game much later, after all these updates. So, a lot of the uh, information that I found on this game and how to play it, no longer a factor. Garlic, yes. Uh, oh, more garlic. Definitely want the garlic. Garlic helps. There also seems to be a creature. They take someone every night. I hear them on the roof now. Tomorrow I'm taking my children out of this godforsaken forest. I think they're gone. Maybe now I can get some sleep. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Uh, it was the last thing you ever did, lady. Or sir. Um, but yeah. I lost track of what I was saying. Not bad. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, a lot of the tools that were there just don't play a part anymore. Um, there only seems to be the dynamite... And the amulet is what you really need. About it. Um, like I said, you want to conserve your ammo as best as possible. Okay, I went to that house, that house. Here. It is three. I am close to the tower, so I don't need to go running back right now. Um, big, big other uh, recommendation. If you are out running around, do not stay too far away uh, from a tower. There's quite a few here. Usually, if you're out running around, you want to start heading back around 4 p.m. Oh, that's what I was saying. Um, there is this weird creature thing that seems to be invisible. I have been hurt by it a couple of times. Specifically, if you are on the ground. I've not come across it while up in the tower. So there there's at least something to it. What time is it? Okay, I got about an hour. I should probably head back up. Uh one of the updates is that the um app markers The map markers, um, can be seen by everybody. So once you've discovered one, if you're playing with, uh, friends, teammates, any of that stuff, um, you'll, it'll appear on there for them. That's right, our reload. Like I said, it's been a little bit. Um, you want to save those silver bullets as much as you can, because you're going to need them later. Anyway, you do have a flashlight, um, and you get batteries for said fla uh, flashlight. Try to conserve them as best you can. Because, again, you're going to need those batteries. First nights are usually always quiet. Um, there are three. Uh, there are three main strigoi that run around at night. 
they have amulets implanted in their chest or pieces, pieces of an amulet. Now, from my understanding in the older version, you had to do a whole ritual situation because you needed like a rope, shovel, uh, you needed a pickaxe, you needed a dynamite. Like there was so many things you needed. You had so many steps. Yeah, so like I said, there was like so many steps and you apparently had to like bury these uh, Ains Dragoi that has the pieces of the amulets in their chest. You had to like bury them and it was some kind of ritual just so you can go in and beat the Elder Stragoi. Well, all that's no longer necessary. Speaking of an witch, that would be one of them. Um... But yeah, that's no longer necessary. Which, honestly, I am very grateful. That would have been really annoying if I had to do that. Uh, like I said, these towers seem to be safe havens. So, so long as you're in one, you kind of don't have to worry about being attacked. Now, first nights are pretty simple, pretty peaceful. Pretty relaxed. You only have the two that are free running around. There is a third, like I said, but that one is right now trapped in a cave. So my recommendation on that is defeat the two that are already out first, then go for the one in the cave. Last thing you want is to have to try to deal with all three running around at night. I have not done that, but two were a pain. Especially by myself, two were a pain. I can only imagine three just makes it that much worse. But yeah, after the first night, it can get pretty hectic, and you'll see what I mean. Now, I will say, this moves a lot faster when you do have more than one. Um, in this case, like I said, with the updates, all you have to do is get the amulet fused together, find all the clues. Clues aren't really necessary, but they help. Uh, and dynamite. That's, that, that's all you gotta find in this game. I very much enjoy the simplifying this. Kind of makes the focus more on the not dying. Oh. Ooh. This is another thing, too. That was. <laughs> Every time. I have played this mode multiple times, even on my own, and every time the hunter sets kicks in, it actually causes my heart <laughs> heart rate to go up. Um, I really do wish, and hopefully maybe the developers will uh, uh, bring up this update just a little bit, but I really do wish, like, on the map, any camera that's showing on said map, on the bottom corner there, um, just, I kind of wish it would flash the alert which camera is which. But again, though, that's with me playing by myself. It's a little bit easier, again, to know which cameras are being detected when you have somebody else, because then you can view the cameras. Uh, you also want to be careful. You can fall off of these. So you can see a little bit of a light up that way. That's another tower. There are quite a few. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Aha! F. F is flashlight. Okay, hey, the sun's coming up. Let's see if we can see the... Uh... Jerks running because there's usually right up there along that ridge. 
for that area, somebody goes running. I is also ending. Another big thing. Wait until 6. Do not climb down before 6. I did that once. That was a mistake and a half. Ooh, that scared me. Like, hmm. Okay. So, this is the thing. That's where you make the amulet. Use it together. And yes, you do want to search all the cabins. Because there are supplies everywhere. Okay. I can never remember where everything is half the time, so I have to always do a double take. There used to be a ladder. Like, right here. They removed that. The ladder was blocked, but there used to be one. Oh. Haven't heard from Rins or Weru or Wero in a while. Said they were heading south to that new settlement to deliver some tools. Might round up a few men and go search for them tonight. Yeah, again. No, oh, don't. Not at night. I mean, you kind of don't want to do it during the day either, but not at night, man. Also, check out the amazing floating lantern. No table. I swear, I feel like this is a, com a game glitch because it's supposed to be over there. Now, at the very least, the cameras are really, really good for detection. Um, you know, get your... They have that motion sensor, as you saw, and it kind of helps you know, besides, you know, your heart beating in your ears, that uh, something's getting close and where it could be. Now, I will say it is recommended to run along the paths half the time, because there will be crates and boxes that you could very well miss if you don't. There's nothing in that box, or actually, no, I know this game is constantly getting updated. Okay. Yeah, this right. You really gotta keep an eye on that clock if you don't want to be caught. that way. As you can see, there's a reason why I left this one for after grabbing everything up there. Sure, I'm not forgetting anything because I have not found all of the uh clues in this game, which is why I say it's not necessary. It's just helpful. And I would actually like to find all the clues this time around. See? You know what I mean? There's a box right here that I have completely missed. And another one. Like I said, you want to be off the ground before 7. 7 o'clock is when it switches over to nighttime. Not gonna lie, I'm probably missing 
boxes. Okay, I think I got everything, at least within the village. I hate it when it gets quiet. Eat it. <sighs> Let's see, is it gonna be another chill night or is it going to get a little chaotic? <laughs> and seven o'clock. Nope. It's gonna be another chill night. Pretty much once it hits seven o'clock, um, as it switches over to nighttime, that's it's right from there. You'll know if it's gonna be chill or not. Again, there's a nice little surprise, and I'm keeping it kind of, you know, not revealing everything all at once just yet because, uh, you know, some of y'all who haven't played yet. But yeah, it's the reason why I haven't talked about uh, past what you do once you get the amulet and um, dynamite. I want to see if I can even make it to that point. Oh, not gonna lie, this is these calm nights are the most boring because aside from a random strugoy of running past. Not much goes on. And let's tell you right now, you might be wondering, Lori, why why aren't you uh, actively hunting this thing? Uh, you know, hunting these things when it's night out, when they're active. Because this is when they're the strongest. When you go up against vampires, you don't you don't you don't fight them in their element. That's a death sentence. <laughs> Just say. There we go. So, there's this button that says uh, V for push to talk. We haven't figured out if um, that has anything to do with actually talking in the game. Like, if they intend to create a uh, proximity chat eventually for this game. Um... Because it doesn't really seem to do anything that we're aware of. True. True. But even um, with some other games that have proximity chat, you can hear each other. So... I just wondering if that's intended for the future or if um if it's just your how you're supposed to interact with the game and it's not actually meant for that no idea but until they have a until they create an update not gonna know <laughs> I just realized that so, for those who don't know, there is an AI uh, controlling the monster. I've seen some people say it's not that great of an AI or anything like that, but again, this is a game that's still being worked on. Um, if I remember correctly, this game is still in early, uh, early access. So it's still actively being worked on. There are improvements being made over time. And that includes the AI who runs the monsters. 
the better it gets, the more data it uh gets, the smarter it will get, and probably the more difficult it will be to take on these uh creatures. But yeah. So this game, like I said, is early access still. Uh it's still improvements are still being made. But I do enjoy the game. I very much enjoy it. I like the challenges it gives. And I like the little nuggets of lore you get involving why you're there. So like the investigations, all this other stuff that you're doing. And it is six o'clock. Give it a little bit. Sure, nothing can sneak up on me. Okay. go a different way than I normally go when playing this or this Yeah 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 here it is. I will say the fact that this game does still keep me on my toes is part of the reason why I like it. Um, there are certain games that I have found that are just, when in the horror or paranormal or supernatural genre, is far too, um, far too predictable. And I've always hated it. Okay. That will be important later. I'm not gonna go this way. The other reason why this game... Or this specific uh, challenge is as challenging as it is and takes as long as it is, is because this map is bigger. Now, I know many people are familiar with the uh, Night of the Windy Boy one because. By the way, is he trapped over here? No. There are times where there is a Strigoi trapped on these rocks. The blight has gotten worse. Our crops have stopped growing entirely. First land. Year 2. Yield 14,000, 7,500. 91 or 10? I think 10. The order must have something to do with this. I've never believed their propaganda about cleansing the land. So apparently there's this group that was here in the village called the Order. And no idea what they were about, except they were meddling with stuff that they really should not have been meddling with. And <sighs> Oh hi. Face that way. Oh wait, I can go that do that later. Trying not to waste time that I have. Yes. Okay, I found it. By the way, part of the reason why you don't want to be caught on the ground is they will come for you that entire night. There's the dynamite that you're going to need. But yeah, the, these jerks will come for you. I know there's more boxes up there, but I'm saying for so I don't have time for that right now. Definitely pick up garlic. That garlic's gonna be needed. Yeah, they will come for you. Non-stop. Um, you don't want to be caught out in the middle of the night without being in some kind of enclosure. I will have to come back here. Get it marked. Yeah, there isn't any creature here. But most are going to be found in this house. Okay. okay. 
But yeah, you you do not want to be caught out in the open. Because at least yeah, when it does that, yeah, every, they, they can come from any angle at that point. Because like I said, there's more than one. And so if you're dealing with more than one, you need a point where they all come in. So you can fight them off. But as you can see, I'm trying to book it. Oh, I might have. Uh, is that what I think it is down there? Yeah, that is. Okay, run. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. Don't stop. Base could be in the area. Stop, don't stop, don't stop. It is after four. Okay, there's the village. Now, the reason why I keep acting like, uh, Mr. Goy could be in the area is because the ones with the pieces of amulets in their chest don't seem to have to run away and hide from the sunlight. The amulet seems to protect them from the sunlight. They seem to be able to run around in the day. Which is why you still gotta be careful about where you're running. Hmm, sorry. And make sure you are still vigilant. That's why every time I see a deer start to bolt out of nowhere, there's a slight jump. Because I'm like, oh, is that is that one of the Sagoi? Or nope, nope, that's that's just a deer. Like I said, playing this by yourself is very difficult. Not impossible, but difficult. One. Oh, yep, there it is. There it is. Blood red mist is rolling in. This is what I was talking about. So it looks like we're about to get a hectic night. This is the night that really sucks to be caught on the ground. I've been caught on the ground multiple times during nights like this, and... <sighs> oh, I hear you. Hush. But yeah, no joke. You get caught in the ground. On a night like tonight. It, it's a constant fight. Might get a quick moment of reprieve and then you're back at it again. Deer seem... They will scatter. Like, they will run. Oh. Like that. Here's the roars. So far, oh, there we go. There, there they are. The deer do not trigger the cameras, so if you see the thing pop up of a camera getting triggered and then a deer's in front of it, I can guarantee you it was not the deer. So long as you're in a tower, you're not touched. So long as you're in a tower. You... Get my butt back over here. I want to avoid here, and I don't want to come down here just yet. And you'll see why for these areas. There's a nice cave here or up here somewhere that uh you have to go into. Now we definitely... Oh, yep, there's one. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you can see him running around on the ridge. Right there on the hill. Top of that little hill right there. House. Mm -hmm. 
those are the reason why I say you don't go off the tower until after six. I did that once, and uh, one of the uh, Strigoi popped out of nowhere. Scared. Everyone's loving daylight time. <laughs> and here's the thing. These other uh, Strigoi, the, I guess I would call them the lesser ones, the blood mist ones, they will poof in the sunlight. I have seen it happen. So long as they don't hit direct sunlight, they typically still stick around. But the moment they're out where the sun's rays hit them, goodbye. The valid reason why I haven't hopped down yet. Now crossbows are take forever to reload, so you kind of have to be quick when doing it. Because I the way I have to do it is I have to switch between crossbow and then rifle because they will attack and if they attack you and hit you while you're trying to reload then you got to start the reload process all over and it's kind of annoying. there's a lot of snow on that mountain top over there so yeah yeah that's where the ice cave is i was right i am so glad because they actually worked hard to make it more obvious where that cave was apparently it was a pain to find it's gotta, gotta be like really thorough because these boxes don't always spawn in the same areas. At least I don't think they do. They don't seem to. Oh, that's why I didn't find Death sleep. Feed. Don't sleep. Be woken, eyes open. They seem stronger at night. The daylight it weakens them. Into or I'm too tired. We'll continue monitoring tomorrow. That's why I couldn't find one of the clues because uh, we're a skeleton. battery added. So yeah, like I said, they did a good job making it more obvious where the ice cave was. Because they made it decorated. So yeah, you put the dynamite, the dynamite there, then you go in, some box over okay. I need to go. I need to book it. I spent a little too much time out. out. I have to go for the nearest tower. I'm not going to be able to make it back to the village. Now we wait. Okay, while we're waiting. Cool. Yeah, that looks like 109 ammo, 6 batteries, 5 air traps. Those are useful. 6 garlic, which again is useful. Or cameras. Trust me, you're going to want all the cameras. It gets... It, they're very useful. Straight up. Okay. Oh, looks like we're gonna have a chill night. Okay. And let's go. Ammo! Eat it. I decided I'm gonna go for my first big boy. So, buckle up, folks. It's about to get, uh. Eh. Okay, jerk face is somewhere around here. I 
as is a box. <sighs> oh, there you are. Ah. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Like I said, it was around here. He had to go running off and this is low this is his spot. He didn't go running off in here, he went running off somewhere else. But he'll be back. Almost guaranteed he will be back. Oh, I hear you. I'm a big boy. I'm here. I heard you. I'm here. There you are. I'm here. Where are you? Oh, jeez, there he is. Ah. They can crawl. That's where he was hiding. In here. You can sure there's no boxes. Yeah, I'm gonna end up getting trapped here. I might have to run. I summoned the blood mist last night. We went to developed barrels, crushed them. Okay. Very interesting. Y'all can pause it to read later. This is why it's usually better to have multiple people. Straight up. Quicker to take him down. Not impossible, just quicker. Run, Boris, run! Okay, this is what I'm talking about cutting it close. Gotta, gotta be trying to be my that time. I like having a home base. That's more of a personal preference. Okay. That one is marked off. Next one I'm gonna is down here. Game four. Because like I said, I'm not going to worry about the one in here until after this one's dealt with, until everything else. Yep. Yep. 
You know what? There's a pattern that usually it always seems. There always seems to be a red mist after one of the amulets has been fired. At least that's been my perception. Now I will say this as I'm realizing, uh, yeah, there's, a uh, there is no save in either of these games. You don't, you do, you do not get to save. You die, you die, there's no try again, there's no, oh, it's been too long, I'm gonna hop out of the game and come back later. No. It's one one session all the way through, or you don't make it. Now, considering the kind of game this is, that is probably for the best. Um, You really don't want to have saves for this game. Is that it, it's meant to be a multiplayer game. It's really meant to be played with multiple people. Um, yeah, it's it's not really meant for solo players. And as I said, it's not that it can't be played solo. It, as you can see, it definitely can be. Um. Where are you? Four. Oh, there you are. Oh. It can be done. It's just because there is a limited amount of bandages. Uh, limited amount of ammo, limited amount of bolts, limited amount of garlic, because trust me, Garlic is is important. Full oh, warning. Probably not gonna be able to make it all the way to the end. If I'm being honest. Probably not going. To. Uh that the the final boss is just very difficult. You have to be sneaky, you have to be quiet, you have to you have to figure out the clues. I will say I'm looking forward to the third mode. Uh I think it's like Dusk Moon Forest or something like that. I gotta take another look. Um But yeah, like Night of the Windy Boy, that was pretty cool and actually very simple and straightforward um you just gotta find all the pieces and if you don't know where to look that can take some time uh this one is also again pretty straightforward um but like i said with the old outdated information it made it very difficult to find what was needed um And I had to do a lot of trial and error. I got close to making it all the way to the end when um, I played by myself. But it took me having to play with a partner for us to be able to reach the end and see what it took to beat the final boss. It is tough, it is challenging. But it is enjoyable. So, not gonna lie, uh, my partner's computer doesn't seem to like Night of the Windy Boy. <laughs> like, at all. I haven't had issues with that one, but his computer seems to not like it. It has crashed so many times, either right before the end or right after the end. Okay, probably gonna go do deal with the second one. Ooh. 
this is the other thing I will say that I do very much like about this game is I think the graphics are pretty. They may not be the best, but they are very pretty. I do enjoy them for that. There you are. always runs off and then he will be back. This is time to at least look around until he decides to come back. Not tucking his tail in between his legs. No, he lacks the tail. Usually comes from that side. There he is. Did I not reload? Alrighty. Got him. Right before noon. stuff. Oh, yeah. Blue. That's what. We lost a couple. Okay, I got six out of eight. So last night, we will got all that stuff. Again, you can read. There. Box. Anyway, so that's the two that are freely out and roaming. like a lot of boxes splattered and scattered throughout this entire map even in places you typically wouldn't go and I'm not gonna lie, I feel like that's that's definitely meant for more of the explorer types um Like, if you're gonna be out exploring and stuff, chances are you're gonna wanna take a moment and actually look through the woods. It was a deer. Okay. Because, yeah, we, like, both me and my partner, when we were out, uh, just completely canning, just seeing what's there after we defeated the final boss. Um... We found crate or boxes in some randomly weird locations. Like no joke. Very confused as to why some of them were out where they were. I'm gonna go back to the closer tower for tonight. Because I really need to finish exploring and getting the rest of the gear that I'm gonna need. I am now out of bandages. I'm gonna need those. Especially when I go to face the next one. Not to mention the uh, elder. The elder one. There's no ladder to that one. Yep. Okay. I spent far too long out. I need to go to that close. I 
like I said, this game really is an exploring game as well. They do reward you for going out into like the middle of nowhere for these things. But it's kind of one of those that unless you have a uh, group with you, you really should not be doing a lot of experience. As I figured, I was not gonna. Thought I saw saw one. Yep. Hi. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This dude. Get stuck here. All the time. I don't know who that's supposed to be, because I caught I caught the other ones. They really came out of nowhere though. Jeez. Like you could see them all swarming down there. This happens. This happens from time to time. There we go. Hopefully nobody gets stuck there. Wow, they're all swarming the village right now. <laughs> find interesting. Now, the, uh, the Strigoi that appear with this red mist can be taken out in a single shot. As you saw right there. I don't know what was going on with the two other times. Like, the one time I got caught up on that, it just kind of hung there in the air and I was able to get it back. But, the one that actually hit its mark, um, single shot took it out. The other nice thing, too, is with the cameras, if you can remember which number is placed where, when they get activated, and it that tells you, um, it's a huge help. Because it can kind of tell you where some of these creatures are moving. I have to find- I gotta find more bandages. I cannot face the next one, or the third one. Help me. There's a- Oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I know what that is. Oh, that was loud. It was like right in my ear. Hi! There he goes. That was suddenly in my ear. Can't find me. As I'm, for all intents and purposes, up in a tree. I'm out squirreling the predators. But here's the thing. See, you see guys like this? Right here? I 
Did these two guys just die of starvation or something? Like, seriously? Did, did they just die of starvation? Because that's not you, typically what's insinuated here. Because I think in one of the other towers we've seen, you know, ketchup on the ground, on the floor of a tower. So, which would insinuate that they would be able to get up here? But they can't. But the only explanation for this guy here is, um, he ended up being very, very hungry. The only real explanation I got. Like I said, that spot there, that, that's the marking of the end game. That is where everything is heading. See, one of the things I've learned is that there's no real point in shooting these guys as, at, like, at all, if you can avoid it. Because all you're doing is just wasting ammo if you do. Yeah, 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 I hear you. I'm starting to think that the screaming one is, like, that you hear all the time is the one off an ice cave. Like I said, really pretty. Really gorgeous. I see you! Go on, get. Go on now, get. I got stuff to do. You should be poofing in smoke right now. Let me it a little bit. Every time I get on the ground of these places, I always feel shorter than what I probably am. Just saying. I have actually come across a few of those dudes from the Red Mist, like, just standing still in the shade of s or underneath some kind of thing that was, like, blocking the sunlight. So I think it does register when sunlight hits it to a degree. Which I find pretty sweet, actually. Ha! Box! Battery! Again. Thank you. Kinda need bandages though. So you do get raw meat? But I don't think they really do anything. There we go! I got two bandages. There's more. Yes! More bandages. Garlic. Bandage. Ammo. Oh, I love it. Double check to make sure I'm not leaving anything. Bear trap. You know what? Test some things out while. Check me. Really? This is what I'm talking about. Like, two more cameras. I'm gonna have all the cameras. But I kind of wish. They didn't knock this thing down, because I would like to be able to get up to there. But I can't. No way to get up there. You really gotta keep your eyes peeled for those boxes. Like I said, they're just anywhere and everywhere. That. A lot of times, you might miss something like that. Oh look, another one. Like, this is, this, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you will find in a box. 
is it? See? You know what I mean? Down the middle of nowhere. Nowhere near where you'd think to look. And maybe that's the point. I don't know. I just about passed one. Okay, yeah. It's getting a little late. I need to find a tower. You might notice I've also gone off map. You can go a distance off map too. That's a one of the weird things there. It is three. Right here, so I may as well look for it. Oh, it is four. I need to move my butt. All. Any. All. Okay. I've stuck around way too long. Hopefully it's not another red mist night. That would things a little easier but knowing my luck that's not gonna be the case oh also knowing my luck I will panic for no reason I wish feet move a little faster come on 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 on. Oh, I'm on the ground, I'm on the ground, I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground. Thankfully, there shouldn't be anything tonight. Oh, that was still terrifying, though, because that could have been a red mist night. And <laughs> Some of those guys last night popped up out of nowhere. I swear. By the way, I'm gonna need that. Once you open this cave, uh, this dude can run about at night. Bitch, right now there seems to be a glitch going on. That's been done. See you now with this place you used to have to um you used to have to like mine the stuff. But now you don't have to. Which is why there used to be a pickaxe. Get it. Already, yes. I'm not gonna. Maybe.
Gonna try. Love of everything, I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna make it. I at least needed three hours to get back. Oh, I hope the invisible dude don't find me. Gotta stay in the cave. Bet you it's gonna be a red mess tonight. <sighs> I'm probably gonna die tonight. Never mind. Sorry, folks. Yep. Means invisible dude's gonna be running around. I'm gonna tr Come on. Yep. Yep, they can't get me. That just... I believe this just confirmed it. They know where I'm at, but they can't get me. Oh! Hi. See, like, there's like at least five others, I think possibly six. This is what I say you don't want to be caught boots on the ground on these nights. Hmm. Okay, time to wait this out. Okay, let's go retrieve the cameras. Now, you might have noticed I've not put down bear traps. That's because you can't pick them up once you've gotten them. So, you better not... If you're, if you're going to utilize them, which they can be very useful... Yeah, if you're going to utilize them, don't use them here. Save them for this last part. Now, like I said, it's much easier to do what's about to happen next with the team. Much, much easier. Not impossible to do by yourself. I just would not recommend it. Still haven't found all the clues. I don't know where the eighth one is. Because I think the seventh one is here. Still have not found all these clues. Is that a box? Please be a box. Please have bandages. Ammo or both. Oh, I got her. Bandage! Thank you! either do or die at this point and chances are for me I'm gonna die to whomever finds this note I am at my will's wit's end and I cannot beat this creature I hope you can succeed where I have failed the following is my understanding after much Pride and error. The eyes seem broken in some way. If I stay completely still, it seems harder for it to be or for it to detect my presence. There are some stone strange glowing minerals around. They must be important in some way. Why does it seem like bullets can't kill it? There must be something I'm missing. So yeah, I don't know where the eighth clue is. But it says shh 
quiet. Don't speak. Don't breathe. Don't move. Uh, and into the dark. I'm going to show why this... This is the older Strigoi. Obviously, you can set the controls how you want to. Um, but supposedly, Crouch makes you a little quieter. So waiting for him to show up so I can scare him off. Usually, if you can hurt him once, he'll run off for a little bit. Giving you an opportunity to move around before he starts looking for you again. This is where having more than one person is extremely helpful. Because if there's enough of y'all to distract him, he won't be able to really get too close to either one person and you guys can move little by little and make it to the end. Which is what me and my partner did. We basically split up. We had our cameras to detect motion in certain areas. Split up. And each of us took turns moving. Which kept him distracted enough from each of us that he wasn't able to get to. Now there were still times we had to shoot. There were still times where we had to hit him with the crossbow bolts. That was a lot better than when I was solo last time. Now, I got really close to figuring this stuff out on my own. Um, there are blood altars. This is where having the bandages is very important. Not only when he attacks you so you can heal yourself, but also when you do activate the blood altar. Um, they are kind of like the bear traps. There he is. They're kind of like the bear traps in the uh, Night of the Windy Boy. And they attract his attention. So if you are going to solo this, my recommendation is making sure you have enough bandages and utilizing those blood altars. I'm probably going to forget to do that. <laughs> Full warning. So chances are that will be my mistake. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragdoll gal. All right. Now, another thing. There are two floors in this uh, crypt, this tomb. There is this floor, and then there's a lower floor. You're going to want to get down to the lower floor. Now, there should be two other pieces of purification salt, like what I just picked up at in the uh, ice cave. Be two more pieces of purification salt in this uh, crypt. You're gonna want those. They are imperative. Oh, I knew there was a hole. Why hasn't he gone? Usually he's up here by now. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hi there, big boy. And that's why the garlic is useful.
a warning, he can and will sneak up on you. So you see the symbol here? Memorize it. Going to want to remember this one. There are going to be two other symbols as well you're going to need. This is that blood altar, uh, sacrifice blood to the altar. What are those? Battery. The hell was that? There's also holes in the walls you need to watch out for. Like that. I keep look out for those symbols. Symbols are also ha ah. verification salt. Oh. Bandage added, sweet. Ammo. Eat it. I'm dead. Ooh. And that is why. Now you can do minor damage to him, but there you're not going to kill him this way. Find that other purification pass. Yep, speaking of which, there it is. Bulls. That's the other one. Okay. This is what you need to do next. Here. That one was there. I don't remember what the other symbol. But I say you gotta try to remember. Find the other one. He you, he is not happy with me. Yeah, you don't say. Come on. Perfect. Oh. 
for now not gonna lie considering I'm by myself doing doing this I'm doing very surprisingly well Basically, the best you could do is just deter him. So you can figure out the combination. Come on. Either pop the garlic or come get shot. So. There's a lot of. A lot of waiting and timing. He's obviously close. Obviously hunting. Where? Come on, I got a box I gotta get. There you are. Now for the life of me, find this thing. Okay, now at this point, combination's incomplete. Okay, next one. Combination's incomplete. This could be it. Can't find it. So long as you at least get two of them. I'm not ready for you yet, dude. So long as you get that one and that that one, you can do trial and error. Error. There it is. Found the other clue. Freaking awesome. Oh. Light. 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 And boom. Come on! I may actually do this. Come on. Come on, buddy boy. Come on. Come, buddy boy. Down here. Let's go. I am trying pressing the V button for voice just to see. Here he comes. Come on. This is why you need multiple pelts. Let's go. Come 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more. Come on, come on, Elder Stragoy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, there he comes. Ooh. All his eyes before he came. Come on. Must be close. And it's done! Oh, I did it! And I didn't die. <laughs> and that is, ladies and gentlemen, how you do this. You were too late to save the village, but thanks to your efforts, nobody else will die in this mountain. Or on this mountain. The spirits of the Order, having been cleansed, are finally released from the creatures they would have internally lived within. Now that the source of corruption has been defeated, the curse of Bloodfang Force is lifted at last. And I, I managed to find all the clues. I managed to find all the clues. So. That is Bloodfang Forest. Like I said. It, they made it much more simple to do. Very much enjoy that. Um, I'll eventually do one of Night of the Windy Boy. There's a reason why I don't say that. And then this one, Dusk Moon Downs, that's what it is. I have a feeling this one's going to be involving werewolves. I've heard it's going to involve werewolves. I can't wait. But, yeah. Um, so that was Bloodfang Forest. Hopefully this uh, quick playthrough uh, was really helpful for those of you who would like to take on the challenge. Uh, I wish you all the best of luck with that. And thank you for joining me here with this uh, session of gaming. Y'all have a good night.